Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to share why did I quit my high paying job at Aditya Birla Group and what are the next steps for me in real life and what is it that I'm going to venture into whether it is joining in some other startup, joining in some corporate, joining in some VC or starting my own venture or taking a plunge into entrepreneurship. So let's watch this entire video. So firstly, let me give you a disclaimer. I come from a family or I come from a background where everyone in my family has been an entrepreneur and my dad is into real estate. He has his own business where we construct and sell residential and commercial premises in Nasik itself, my uncle, my aunt, everyone, whoever is there in my family, they've never done a corporate job in their life. They've not even done any of these professional courses like CA, CS, CMA as well. So I come from a family where everyone has been into real estate mostly. And I was the first one who did this corporate job in my family itself, which was a very big thing for the entire family, as there was no one who did the corporate stint in their life as well. So I was the first chartered accountant in my family. And that is the reason I thought that let me do some years of corporate life experience, understand how a big conglomerate works and then after understanding that probably let's take a plunge into entrepreneurship because that was there at the back of my mind since the beginning so basically it's like i'm not saying that you should also quit your job or maybe you should also take a plunge into entrepreneurship or start something of your own but all i'm trying to say is that you should have that clarity in your mind that when do you think that your learning curve has reached its peak and you think that it's the right time for you to take the plunge and if you have some interesting idea interesting business thoughts then i think it's very crucial for you to take that plunge or take that decision during your point of time as well so that was one of the key reasons secondly what i thought was that i am not a person who can work under someone 24 7 so i'm not saying that you should also be that kind of a person but personally if you ask me or if you ask any of my friends as well i won't be that person who will always work for someone 24 7 and i'm not even comfortable with let's say if there's anyone supervising me or monitoring me and i have to take permission again and again in order to do one thing or the other so this was the thing which was happening and of course like it's absolutely fine because if you're working for a corporate if you're working in a big organization you're going to work under someone at the end of the day that's a big opportunity i'm not saying that but i'm not that type of a person so i thought that let's take this plunge right now i think this is the best time because i've had a very wonderful stint of two years at aditya Birla group and i think two years is a decent amount of time to understand like how is this corporate working and the experience which i've got so what i realized is that if you're working in an organization if you're just an employee you're always in the comfort zone you're always in the shell you aren't given the freedom of taking your own decisions well in some cases of course you might be given that freedom as well if you're the ceo or if you're at a very senior position but from what I have realized is that at least in the last two years, I was always in the comfort zone. I always used to think as if like, okay, there's someone who's monitoring and supervising me. And if I want to grow ahead in my career, I should start taking my own decisions and I should be the person who should be responsible for my own decisions. Building a company from scratch or maybe taking your own decisions, that gives a much better learning curve as compared to helping someone build their own dreams. As Mahatma Gandhi had stated, right? Like if you're smart enough, someone will hire you to build their own empire. It's very crucial to understand what kind of person you are so I was never the person who used to like working under someone 24 7 and that is also one of the reasons that I thought that I'll just take this plunge and maybe I'll start my own venture or maybe I'll just join my dad's business whatever it is which I'm going to decide after a few days itself so that's that's also like one of the key reasons now coming to the podcast and coming to the content creation so I'm telling you in this video also that content creation is never going to be my full-time game a lot of people think that okay I'm going to be a full-time content creator I'm just going to create videos on YouTube Instagram and LinkedIn that is never going to be the full-time game for me ultimately my vision or my dream is that I want to become an entrepreneur or probably I want to start something of my own where I can build a product if not a product at least if I can productify something or just start something of my own where I can earn sufficient amount of money as compared to the job so the answer to this question is that of course I'm never going to be a full-time content creator but again this is my passion and this is a good side gig for me also to improve my communication skills talk in front of a camera talk to you guys and i think it's a very good platform for me to build my own personal brand as well so honestly i'm not going to be a full-time content creator but having said this i'm now going to get more time to do all these podcasts let's say with industry stalwarts and all these podcasts you usually used to happen during weekdays i can't request mr nirmal jain or dr niranjan hiranandani to do the interviews on weekends because these are like billionaires of india right and these are like the top one not even the one top point one percent of the Indian economy so it's like it's very difficult for uh, me to get their time on any of the day any of the month and I think whenever they give time usually it used to be on weekdays and I think now I'm going to focus more on these podcasts as well which really opens my network as well that is a selfish motive to be honest but secondly it's like I'm giving back to the fraternity in terms of understanding and laying down their success story to the audience as well so if you want me to interview some eminent guests as well feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to like get some connection and reach out to their PR team or reach out to them directly so that is also one of the things which I'm 
I'm going to focus on. I'm going to scale up my YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn, no doubt. But I'm not going to become a full-time content creator. That's for sure. And there's this beautiful quote in the book Psychology of Money, which states that use money to gain control of your time. This is very important. If you read in between the lines, it's like if you have sufficient amount of money, you can literally buy time with that money because you'll be able to just enjoy freedom. And then you can use this time to create more memories. So I'd watched in one of Akshat Shivastava's video as well that use money to buy time and use time to create more memories. I think this is very, very beautiful. And you know, like I did not get a chance to read the entire book, The Psychology of Money, but that's where applications like Cuckoo FM comes into picture. So Cuckoo FM is an amazing application where you can get a lot of audio books like let's say The Psychology of Money, The Intelligent Investor, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Ikigai, almost all the famous books which are there. In fact, I also came across a book, Achhi Job Paane Ki Secrets, where you also get your interview preparation tips, how to build a resume, etc. So in case you're planning to join a company then i think this book is a very good read for all of you in order to prepare for your interviews as well and if you are tired of reading or if you don't get time to read the way i do not get time i usually just listen to these audio books i can listen to them even while i'm traveling or maybe i'm going somewhere so you know like this is the best way i can allocate my time productively well with cuckoo fm you can also listen to these books in the regional languages as well and the best part is you can listen to them anywhere and anytime and there's an amazing offer which I've got for you. You can use my code, which is Kushal50 to get 50% off. And this is only for the first 250 users. So you can unlock your knowledge potential, not at rupees 399, but at rupees 199. So download this amazing application, Kuku FM, by clicking on the link given in my description box. And don't forget to use my code, that is Kushal50, to get an exclusive 50% discount on your download itself. Coming back to the topic, now the bigger question is what am I going to do next? Or maybe what is it in my mind going on right now? So I'll be very honest with you, last few months have been extremely hectic for me. I've been traveling like insane. I've been traveling to Bangalore, traveling to Delhi because I'm also co-authoring a book with one of my very close friends, Ishan Sharma. We are writing a book titled as The Unicorn Secret where we are going to interview 2025 unicorn founders of India and lay down their success stories in a book format. This is going to be extremely beneficial for a person who wants to start up his own venture because we are going to cover every Everything in detail, right from ideation stage to execution to hiring the right set of people, finding the right co-founder and also about how do you go on building the team and just how do you go about acquiring the customers, what's the process of fundraising and vision for the company. So that's a book which I am working on. So last three months had been extremely hectic in terms of traveling to Delhi, Bangalore and all other cities as well and managing my social media as well as managing my full-time job as well. So I've decided to take few days off. I am in Nasik right now. I'm spending time with my parents and I've decided I'll take some days off, maybe let's say 15 15, 20 days I just relax for some time and maybe I just think what I have to do next there are a lot of options I can join my dad's business who's into real estate he's doing very well in Nasik I can join his and plan to expand that business I have two three business ideas which are going on in my mind right now maybe I can start working on those business ideas as well or probably even content creation which is psychic which is going on parallelly I am trying to expand and scale my YouTube LinkedIn and Instagram presence as well so all these options are there and this is the thing which I which is going on so right now I am on a break and maybe 15 20 days I'll just relax and I just think what I have to do next it's extremely important to take these sort of breaks or sabbaticals what Whatever you call it. because this is the time where you can think about what you want to do next in your life and this is the crucial time you just need to sit down on your bed just meditate peacefully and just think what you want to do ultimately what is your ultimate goal in life what are your ambitions whether you're able to achieve them or not so that's a phase which i'm going through right now but i'm extremely happy and peaceful because i'm able to follow my passion i'm able to just you know like do whatever i want i'm having that freedom now i think i'm very happy right now and to be honest it's like i'm excited for my new journey as well which i'll start from august or uh, mid-august itself so that's the thing which I want to do ultimately and let's see how it goes but I'm excited for my new stint but having said this I think the last two years in Aditya Birla Group has been more than amazing. You can watch that video of how I spent my two years in corporate life You by clicking on the link in the description box. That's an amazing video. You'll get all the insights of the work which I've done at Aditya Birla Group itself. So the end message which I want to give all of you is that whatever decision you take, just try to ensure that this is going to be a personal decision. Have a look at your family circumstances, at the situation where you are right now, at the amount of money which you're earning right now, or maybe amount of money which you'll be able to earn if you take some sort of decision. Or, you know, like all these other things which are going to determine whether you want to take this sort of decision or not. So I am nowhere promoting entrepreneurship in this video. It's just that this is the situation. This is the time which I feel that I am going to take a plunge into entrepreneurship. And I think I can do much better. I can contribute to the society in a much better manner if I am able to do something of my own and not work under someone for the rest of my life. So this is a personal decision. Again, you just need to jot down on a piece of paper what are the pros and cons of this decision. And then only you need to take this decision because it's a very crucial decision of your life. So I think again, 
again, like from that book itself, the psychology of money, there's this beautiful quote, which I read in the Coco FM app itself, that luck and risk play an important role in almost all the outcomes. Individual effort can only get you so far. So luck and risk, these two are like two of the most crucial things for any person to become successful because luck also matters ultimately. It's like whatever you do, you should do it at the right time and at the right place. That's going to matter a lot. And at that time, if you take that sort of risk, probably you will be able to achieve success much better as compared to a person who's giving a lot of efforts but is not getting lucky or is not taking that risk or plunge. Again, I'm just saying that this is a beautiful quote which states that these other factors also matter. It's like even a person who's doing a full time job, he's giving more than 100% efforts, but let's say he won't be able to reach that skill or level if he's not getting lucky, if he's not able to take that risk, if he's not able to find that right moment at the right time. So that's very important. And again, like this is an external factor, but maybe you can just control this by just putting more amount of hard work. So again, this is an external factor, but that's what this book also has to say. So basically, you need to take risk at the point of time and you need to become lucky, otherwise you won't be able to become successful. So you need to take risk at the right point of time and just take that risk after jotting down the pros and cons of that decision. So I hope this video was useful for all of you. If you do like this video, share it with all your friends, like it and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos for all of you. And before we conclude, I just like to ask what sort of YouTube videos would you want to see on my channel? So there are two options which I have. The first one is the personal finance one where I can create some videos on let's say stock markets, IPO analysis, what are the investment options for an individual, how can one person invest in stocks, etc. Like similar to what Rashna Anade is doing, Anand Ladda is doing, Akshat Shivastava is doing, like somewhat of that sort. Or maybe the second option is I was thinking to create some videos on business models or maybe case studies of these unicorns of India. And once I'm able to cater to the unicorns of India, probably I was thinking to cover case studies of global unicorns as well. So these are the two options which I have. I was thinking to upload YouTube videos, almost like two videos in one week. I'm planning to increase the frequency also. I'll upload shorts and I'll upload YouTube videos. So I'm thinking two shorts, one long form video, two shorts, one long form video. So what sort of long form videos would you want to see? I just like to ask your recommendation. I'll be more than happy if you can just comment down below. So thank you so much for watching this video. Video. And don't forget to download the Kuku FM app and listen to amazing audiobooks and use my code Kushal50 to get a 50% off. So thank you so much. See you in the next video.